Hi, I am Dr. Senthil Vijayan, Head of Pain Medicine Department at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Uh, there are many definitions for pain, but the one which is universally accepted is it is an unpleasant sensory or emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage. There are important words in this particular definition which is unpleasant. So pain is always unpleasant and it is a component of two things. One is the sensory and the emotional experience. So it's a mind and body work together. So pain is just not the physical pain but the emotions which go along with the pain. So it is an experience and it's highly subjective in nature. So what is painful for you may not be painful for other person. So we cannot put a universal scale saying okay this is pain for everybody and the types of pain can be classified depending on the duration to begin with uh, which can be acute and chronic acute pain is any pain lasting less than three months duration or 12 weeks examples like when you have a surgery you have pain that is called acute pain or uh, when you're involved in a road traffic accidents or a fall where you injure your bones that's again acute pain with the healing process the pain gets better Chronic pain is any pain which lasts more than 3 months duration or the 12 weeks duration and it normally outlasts the initial injury and it is due to changes which happen in your spinal cord and the brain as well. And there are another classification of pain based on the pathology which is happening called nociceptive pain and neuropathic pain. Nociceptive pain is again due to tissue injury like post-surgical or after accident. That's again mostly limited within three months time. Neuropathic pain is again different kettle of fish altogether. 